It's a couple of sable palmettos here in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the s southern area, near Provincetown, little sub district. There's a got a couple of volunteers here too. These are beautiful big palms. It's clearly been there a while. It's a real nice place. Another one here. A little smaller, but still. These got that real full. He's got a real full heads, all of these. Beautiful is how they're supposed to look. Not with all that trimming. We got a little volunteer. We already passed the strap leaf stage. It's pretty cool. A few more palmettos on the other side of the street here. Got a nice head in that one. This one looks like it's a smaller head. A couple windmills and a sago. Got a house right across the street, a bunch of windmills. It's all look real nice. This one here looks like uh, getting ready to mating season. Actually, these are two houses here. There's a lot of palms in this neighborhood. A lot of them look like they've been here a while. There's another windmill. Windmills are interesting. The canopies, oftentimes, the uh, size varies a lot. Some got real small, some got real big. We got a few more palmettos here. These look like they've been here a long time. Full heads. All the fronds and seed stalks left on, just left to look their lollipop natural form. These are probably the nicest looking ones I've seen. We got another volunteer over here. A little one there. A sable volunteer. And a couple more nice palmettos. Uh, all got good, nice heads. This one here is pretty tall. Towers over pretty much all the other ones. Wonder how long these have been here. These are real nice palmettos. I mean, these look like they. Uh, you think you're what? You're in Charleston. I mean, look at the buildings around here too. It's all like a got a get a very Charlestony kind of feel when I'm here. But these palms. I mean, they look as good as any you'd see anywhere. Beautiful. We got uh, some more windmills. We got a couple sagos here. They're potted, but they're probably left out all year, and they seem to be doing fine for the most part. This one uh, looks like it's not doing as well. And we got this real big windmill here going up the side. Beefy canopy up here. That's beautiful. That's a real nice windmill palm. Another nice place, and this time we got a, a little Mediterranean fan palm. It's actually got a nice single trunk, might be a few little shoots on the side. Beautiful though. A couple windmills here too, but they I think they're got some nutrient deficiency. Got a smaller pindo palm here. I haven't seen a lot of those in this uh, area. It's way more palmettos and of course windmills. It's got a nice canopy. We got some more windmills, some ivy growing all over this one here, and we got a few young ones. I wonder if these are naturalized. Got, that one's been put in a pot. Got plum full of fruit. We got another one back there. It's all readied up for mating season. We got two more windmill palms. Beautiful. These are probably the tallest I think I've seen. They're looking real good. We got another one here. Windmills definitely seem to be the most popular choice. We got two more. And every other house has got a palm of some sort. A lot of them are picking the windmills. A couple more nice palmettos. It's got a real nice head. This one uh, doesn't look like it's doing as well. I don't know what it might be. Maybe some kind of nutrient. Some of those, a couple of the fronds look really yellow. There's a windmill across the street. I'm telling you, the build, it really does look like Charleston around here, though. And we got another one down here. It's looking pretty good overall. It's also got a yellow frond. Some of the fronds are kind of drooping a little downward on that one. Overall, pretty full, nice head. Got a real nice windmill here. The nice robust crown. Some 
big fronds too. Look at the size of that frond. It's a nice, got a seeds all over it. Beautiful. It's a nice one though. There's a lot of palms around here. Got another palmetto, little wind, little windmill next to it. Another house, just a palmetto and a windmill. It's a nice uh, windmill starting to fatten up. Another palmetto with a beautiful full canopy. Just how it's supposed to look. Got some sagos. Nice sagos over here. Well, there's a bunch of palms in this place here. We got a windmill. Got another nice palmetto. And we got a little miniature date palm. I think it's in a pot. Definitely wouldn't survive out here. They'd probably bring it inside. We got a, I think our first needle palm in this little hut today. Nice clump there. I mean, that, that'll survive every, everything they can throw at it. And up here, we got a couple more palmettos. Real nice palmettos. And a, another pindo. Like I mentioned, there's not a lot of pindos around here. Besides the other palmetto, there's actually, uh, we got a little bit of sable miner back here. Another one we're not seeing much of. Got a couple little sable miner plants. They're a real nice foliage plant, but it takes them like a hundred years to actually trunk. But man, all these palmettos everywhere. And windmill palms. Got another palmetto here. Some more windmills. Actually, two palmettos back there. Another windmill. I mean, it's, they're everywhere. There's one down there. There's a few. I'm seeing a couple naturalized little ones mixed around. I, I think they've all been sables so far. Ooh, we got a pindo. It's actually a, a nicer, larger one, but it looks like it's been cut, hurricane cut. That's not good for that kind of palm, or any palmer, I should say. Yeah, that see that top, how narrow it is? Ironically, a cut like this is actually going to make the palm more susceptible to wind damage. That's I think the biggest pindo I've seen, but I've I haven't seen many pindos at all. You know the nice windmill here. But on this one, they kind of started shaving away the burlap on the trunk. That kind of hair. You see that sometimes being done. I see it, if anything, you probably see it more out west. But they kind of did it here. And some say it gives it a more tropical look. Kind of, I, I can see that, though. Although, uh, I, I think it negatively impacts the cold hardiness, but, you know, here in Charlotte, windmill palms are pretty much bulletproof. There's there's windmill palms around here that are, you know, how many years old, survived uh, the great freezes of the 80s.